Hi, my name is Yancey Quick, and I'm the wig and makeup designer for Utah Opera's production of Il Trovatore. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a wig, and I'm going to be building it for Michael Chioli, who's playing Count de Luna in our production. Um, we are going to wrap your head, Mr. Chioli, and we're going to take a little tracing of it. Will you stick some fingers right there for me? Yeah. So the very first step when I'm building a wig is I meet with the principal who's playing whatever part we're working with, and I take a tracing of their head. Um, we use plastic wrap or a plastic bag, and we place it over their head, and we tape it down so that it forms a casting of their head. And then I take a tracing of their hairline so that we can see exactly what their hairline looks when they're not in the room. <laughs> now that we've taken all that, I get to squeeze you out of this. Demold. <laughs> yeah, which is so much fun, so we just sort of roll oh, forward. Awesome. Yay! And out you come. That was easy. And you have a little plastic cap. That's so cool. That's you. Yeah, it looks like me. Then I lay down what's called foundation lace, or wig lace, or opera lace, depending on who you ask. Uh, and I attach that to the base wig um, so that it's all one piece. And then I begin to ventilate the hair, or tie in the hair, to that lace. It's a very fine lace, so you don't see it on stage or in photos, and it looks very natural. And I ventilate the hair one, two, or three hairs at a time through the whole front of the wig. Now you can do a fully hand-tied wig, but for this piece we're actually just doing a front for him. Um, and I use that tracing that I made to guide me on what his hairline should look like. All right, Michael, you ready for this wig? Ready. Let's put it on you. Let's do it. Got you all prepped. Slip it right on there. And look, it's like it's growing right out of your head. How do you feel about that placement?